What's up, folks? So, figure with the foreseeable near future, we'll be spending a lot more time at home, and I uh, thought I might as well, you know, take that as an incentive to kind of change the direction of uh, what I've been doing on on, uh, on this YouTube channel, and uh, so I'm gonna start doing some cooking and uh you know cooking something i've always always done uh well you know in my in my professional life i've been cooking for about uh 20 years roughly yeah um, a little bit longer than i like to admit anyway so uh mostly it's been oriental food and uh, that's that's where I'm gonna try to focus more on here. So today we're gonna do some fried rice. So if you don't already have a rice cooker, I recommend getting a rice cooker and get one about this size for like ten bucks, pretty cheap. And you know this size, it's pretty tiny, but uh, I mean it makes plenty of rice enough at least to feed my family, family of four. And, um, you know, I, I mean, even then we have leftovers uh, all the time. So, and then, you know, you can even cook other things if you want, you know, eggs, uh, pretty much anything you'd want to boil. But yeah, if you don't have a rice cooker, I mean, you can cook rice in a pot, uh, but that's, you know, who wants to do that? <laughs> anyway, so we'll get started. We do the old uh, Asian method. Right? We use some cold water, and uh, you know, first we'll, we'll wash the rice. Wash it. I would, I would recommend, you know, at least once, maybe twice. I think doing it three times is excessive. And uh, yeah, I think personally twice is ideal. And you see the little uh, crease in your finger, right? For the for this method, you know that water. Once you've once you've leveled the rice, right? You got the rice level. You touch the the top of the rice under the water, and you got you got the right amount of rice in there. And then you can top it with, uh, you know, some people like to season their rice while it's cooking. Um, you can do that, or uh, you know, throw some butter on there. I've seen people use uh, rice wine vinegar or yeah, rice vinegar. But I don't know, for uh, me personally, I'll, I'll if anything, I'll use just butter. And here's our little uh, rice cooker. We just push the button after we've placed the little pot inside the cooker itself. Baby. All right. So while our rice is cooking, I'm gonna take the opportunity to start prepping the rest of the stuff that's going in the rice. I got a little bit of butter left on my knife from the when I cut butter to put it in the rice and that's that's not a big deal anyway so we're gonna cook green onions I think is more of a garnish really it's just there to kind of add color uh, these are pretty thick pretty big uh, chives but uh, it's what they had at the store, so it's what we got. It's a, it's a white onion. It's a mm -hmm. white onion. We do have white onions, son. Actually, and that's coming next. It's big in those onions. Yep. Son, stop. It's the onions. Uh-huh. It's a, it's a okay. onions. Back up, okay? Back up. It's the onions. Yeah. It's the big onion. This off. That is a big onion. It is a big onion. It's a small onion. Mm -hmm. small. So now we have our yellow onion. 
I'm just gonna... I don't really need a lot of this, I guess. So I'm not making a whole lot of fried rice, actually. But, uh... It's a hurt cola. It's a... It's a... It's, it's a, Actually, probably cut more that, green onions than I need it's to, a, but it's, a hurt, it's all right. It's a it's a hurt onion. Son, yes. It's a hurt big onion. Mm -hmm. It's a hurt big onion. Hurt big onion. Yes, Daddy hurt the big onion. <laughs> anyway. Dice these pretty small. Um, not quite minced, but pretty close. Daniel, I have no idea what he's singing. Kudos if you can identify whatever my son is trying to sing. That's crazy. Man, it's super fresh. I'm already tearing up. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so we got our onions ready. I went ahead and bought a pre-cut, um, what was it, pre-cut uh, peas and carrots. Well, not cut peas, but pre-cut carrots and peas, frozen. So that's ready to go. Uh when the rice is ready. For now, let me go ahead and get on the, start cutting the chicken. chicken fried rice by the way so this chicken's kind of thick I'm gonna go ahead and thin it out I'm uh, taking the palm of my hand and not really touching the cutting board but just kind of putting a little bit of pressure on the chicken on the meat itself and just angling my knife down so I don't cut my hand basically okay. perfect All right and uh, finish that off. chicken um well actually i guess for the chicken and the rice but for now the chicken i'm gonna use some uh sesame oil sesame oil is pretty common in uh asian dishes i guess oh yeah kind of <laughs> anyway uh it's it's just as much for flavor as it is for you know Excuse the background in general. We've been uh, just rearranging. But anyway.
Another nice little touch if you, you know, choose to and add sesame seeds on the chicken. Um, personally, I don't care for it, but I don't know if you're, uh, if you're into that. All right, this is done. Just gonna pull it. It's still gonna be kind of hot. Pretty damn hot. Yeah, I'm not gonna pull it by hand. <laughs> Just gonna go ahead and uh, scoop it all out. Break it up real good. Uh, like I said, you want it to be relatively dry by the time you uh, by the time you stir fry it. Stir fry it. <clears throat> anyway, so we're back. I had to change because uh, my daughter spat up on me. It's uh, what babies do. Anyway. So, moving on to really the, the meat of the video. <laughs> we got everything set up here. We got salt, pepper, garlic, some uh, good old chicken base, sesame oil. We got kikuman soy, uh, pretty popular. Then we also have silver swan. That's uh, more of a, a Filipino brand. And uh, it's, that's pretty legit. Like this stuff is, uh, really, really flavorful. We have our uh, onions, beans and carrots, chicken, rice, eggs. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring the rice over here actually. Now normally I, uh, I would normally uh, refrigerate the rice like overnight, just cause it's easy, it's convenient. Right? Um, this time I only refrigerated it for like an hour and a half maybe, I guess. I just stuck it in there, uncovered, uh, periodically, you know, mix it up, uh, break it up real good. Because when you're cooking the rice, if you don't break it up and you start cooking it, um, you're just going to have like little chunks of white rice all up, mixed up in your fried rice. Uh, you don't want that. Anyway, uh, the first thing I'm going to do, actually not the eggs, normally the eggs, but not this time, just because my peas and carrots are still frozen. So because my peas and carrots are still frozen, we're gonna go ahead and do those first. Break them up real good. beautiful things I love about having a walk is having all this space to spread everything out. Uh, now it sucks like doing it on an electric stove as opposed to an open flame, right? That flame distributes the heat pretty evenly on your walk. Uh, but I mean, it's still good. It's still better than most of your other options, you know, that maybe, uh, whole flat top grill, you know. but being practical, one thing that's nice, right, because I have a walk, I can push everything off out of the way, I'm not going to, what I would normally do if I was using a, a, a skillet, right? I would take all this and separate it, I would put it in that pan, 
but just to just to emphasize right how much space I have here. I'm gonna push that aside. Go ahead and add some oil. Need some uh, go ahead and use our eggs. Put our eggs in there. One, two, I think two should be enough for now. So it's in there, and it, it's, of course, it's gonna touch your peas and carrots, but it's not really gonna mix in there so much. For that, for that amount of uh, veggies, you know. I'll go ahead and pop the chicken in too. Rice breaks up when I when I uh, when I break it up. It's not like it's not giving me a lot of resistance. It's breaking up pretty nicely. I'm gonna add some pepper, salt. Garlic. A little bit heavy on that garlic, but it's alright. And just so I avoid doing the same thing with the chicken base, I put it in the lid first. There we go. I'm not gonna hit it with that pico man. Now 
the silver swan is gonna give it some real color. done you see all the steam coming up as I'm stirring it and it's just continuously it's just constantly giving me steam right and you feel that on the back of your hand it's it's hot right so that's all that moisture coming out of the rice Good old fried rice. Now, all we need to do is add some shrimp sauce. No, I'm just kidding. We don't need that yum yum sauce. <laughs> good rice. Good rice is good, like on its own. You don't need to taint it with your yum yum and your ketchups or whatever, you know, your ketchup and mayo shit. This is good. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy. Uh, try it out yourself, and uh, hopefully it comes out right. You know, and um, stick around. We'll uh, we'll do some more cooking soon. <laughs>